Hi guys, welcome back to this second tutorial about native script, Angular 2 and SQLite. We will arrive to run the application on the iPhone in which we show the login page with an input text, input text and of course we need all the login logic so now we have to add something else to the login component HTML, okay? Now we have to add another text field password for in uh, in the stack layout. So remember that the stack layout is our main container. Okay, now uh, on the username we have ng model. Okay, for data binding in Angular 2, and we have to write credential that is our variable and another text field for the password. Now change username with password and also this lays all the password okay now of course we we don't want to to check the the length for username for example or the length of password and so on but just add a button and instead of click in angular 2 you have to use tap to call the method login that we have to to write in the component typescript public login in which we have to check if credentials are right and they check with our mock credentials so user dot username and okay we have to import from mock okay and this credentials dot password equals to user dot password okay and if its credentials are correct Okay, we can just use an alert for now, okay? Else alert KO. Perfect. Now, if we want to use uh, data binding, uh, we have to um, go in app module, app module and add a new import native script forms module, okay? Remember the import I script angular and forms perfect go to the application now we have to okay it's refreshing and try to put post trick post trick press on login and the alert is okay change the password and the alert is ko okay now we can add some style in order to to make uh, our login page more pleasant so we have to write page and for our page we have a background color white also a font size pixel okay text for the text field we have a margin and also a padding and we can style also for the button the same mar margin okay and Padding. This is a minimal CSS for the login page, so we can watch the, the changes and the logic is, is the same. We can add also an image in order to, to see our logo, logo of Postric, but I use an URL. You can use uh, resources inside the application. Now I have to copy and paste URL, sorry. Uh, copy and paste, where is the URL? Okay, okay, this is URL. For, uh, it's too big, so you have to add a starting line with, okay, 40% and now I think it's, it's better. Okay, now we have the login page with just a minimal CSS for the login and we have now to, to connect our login page with the other page so the, the page with the, the list the contact list so add a new directory named address book okay and now we have to add of course the component dot typescript and the component dot html so addressbook.component.typescript 
and also new HTML5 address book dot component dot a HTML and not, not TypeScript. Okay, remove all this. And now we can copy and paste from login component and change the name of the class address book. Also the selector address book template address book and we can remove this imports the block inside the constructor this variable and also the method login okay now we have the new class address book component and we need of course a template for this so write a new action bar with the title address book okay with the class action bar okay action bar and our stack layout that I have to I want to remember you that this is our main container so with a class page and orientation vertical as you can see it's identical to login template so now we we have to use a list view in which there are our items items okay and the name of this variable can be list address book okay and inside this tag list view we have a template Late, okay, with a variable let contact that we want to use, and now we can use label, okay, with the text, and the text is of course our contact, so contact dot not name but username, okay username and we have to write our new variable so public list address address book type address and this is an array so we have to import this this type and this is an array okay now if we want to see something we have to to add new item to this this array in the constructor so this list address book and this is an array with just one object with username jack okay jack and with a number this is not my mom number of course <laughs> okay Okay, now we have to declare now the, the new component, so address book component inside the declaration, remember the import, pay attention to the import from module address book, okay, and now we have to add new path, okay, so path address book and the component of this path is address book component again the import okay from modules okay now we can we can implement the navigation to this route so we have to write in the constructor private private now type router extensions and this is from native script angular remember the router okay and now we can use nav so this dot nav dot navigate 
and put inside the root for address book. Okay, now it's time to watch the navigation inside our application. So open the emulator that as it's refreshing. Okay, write credentials. Okay, now password and press login. Okay, now you are in the address book, but this is the first item, but we have also the arrow back login that we want to, to remove. It's not a good idea to go back to the login page if you are in. So we have to add to the nav an option, clear history, and we have to set clear history true. And now we, uh, when we want to move from login to the contact list, we, we always clear the history and now there is not anymore the arrow back so we can try now again credentials press login and now there is no more the arrow okay we can change the message inside the alert uh, insert correct credentials okay and we can try to restart the application and if you write wrong credentials, okay, the other is this insert card credentials. Okay, that's all, guys. We are at the end for this second tutorial. In the next video, we are going to implement the database service. Of course, you have all useful links in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our Facebook page. See you guys.